I would say the fact that I was passionate about travel from as young as 14, 15, doing exchanges with France and Spain, and I studied languages at school, um, and then I continued to study languages at university, so it was always probably written in the stars that I would take this career. I think a love for travel is really important, and people come into the industry possibly from um, maybe other professions like acting or teaching. Um, many have worked in travel, you know, since they were young. They might have started out on cruises or entertaining. Um, and so all of these are relevant, you know, things to bring to the travel industry. I think that depends on the company. It can take anything from a couple of weeks to a couple of months. Um, everyone who works at Trafalgar will have worked at different companies before. Trafalgar considered one of the best in the industry and so you'd have had to um, have worked for at least a few years at another travel company and already been trained with them before you came to Trafalgar. Um, and of course when you come to Trafalgar you will also receive training in how we do things and you will definitely go on a trip um, before you're sent out on the road. Lots of our TDs have come from our sister company called Contiki and they would have had a two month training program that would have been on the road. They would normally do a week somewhere like London and maybe a week in Paris, two of our big cities, learning the ropes, learning how to present about these cities, learning all of the streets and you know the layout of where all the sites are and the best routes to go through the cities. Um, and then they would do a trip around Europe, taking in all of the places that the trips would go to um, and learning the you know the practical information about where the ATMs are the restrooms and then all of the sites and kind of getting to know things in depth. Trafalgar's training program um, for new TDs would include as I said a trip in the region that you're going to work in so you would shadow another travel director and that trip could last anything from a week to two weeks and you'll get to know the suppliers, the hotels, the restaurants. That's a really, really useful thing before you go out on the road. I actually started doing this job when I first left university at 22. Um, and I do remember then that we were in a totally different situation. So we didn't have the Euro yet. We had pounds in England, we had francs in France and lira in Italy. And that season I was given a whole load of what we call LPRs, London, Paris, Rome. And so I remember having to change my money. We had a lot of cash at the time. Most places didn't accept card. We had to pay cash everywhere. So carrying a lot of cash in various different currencies. Every country I got to, I had to change up more money. Um, mobile phones were really expensive at the time to make international calls. So we'd be making calls from phone boxes using calling cards. So it was a totally different world, but it was extremely fun. Um, and I loved when I got to the heat of Rome at the end of it. It was always a nice place to end. So we get lots of ongoing training. Um, we get training in things like GDPR so that we're careful with the data that we have um, and we use it you know, within European regulations. We get training, like I mentioned, on things like social media, um, photography, um, so that we can um, improve our social media presence and interact with our guests by social media. We would get training on things like stress management because the job can sometimes be quite stressful. So we would um, complete training that would help us in our daily role. And also um, we would do first aid training. That's something that we all need to know. So every we can do it every year if you want to. There's an availability um, to do training every year, but normally we'd do first aid training every three years and we use dummies. Um, and we do CPR and everything to make sure that we have the basic skills to keep all of our guests safe. So we get online training to complete regularly and then there's lots of live interactive training at our kickoff sessions that happen in March of each year. So normally in March of each year we all come together at a European destination. Last year was going to be Istanbul so we're looking forward to the next time we can all come together. And at that session we have um, at least two days of training um, where we're kept up to date on you know industry protocols 
and given all useful information to help us to carry out our role and look after you guys and make the trips fun. So we're kept up to date on all of the industry protocols relating to um, the coronavirus. And we're also really happy to um, let you know that we're gonna have a wellbeing director on every trip that has more than 20 guests, um, which is fantastic. So we'll have someone specifically there to look after our guests' health and sort of social, psychosocial needs. If anyone is anxious, if anyone is worried, um, that person will be there to be someone to talk to so that the travel director can be at the front of the coach getting on with um, the job of getting you guys to the fantastic destinations that we have to show you and keeping you all entertained. Well, I would say as someone who hasn't um, worked for the last year, yes, it is a dream job. I miss it very much. Um, it's fantastic to be able to um, make my passion, my job. And it's also just amazing to spend time with people at periods in their life where they're normally happy and relaxed. They're making lifelong memories, sharing peak moments with their friends and loved ones. And just to be able to be on the road, we have lots of, lots of our colleagues are our friends. There's often great camaraderie between the driver and the TD and our other colleagues. And we get to see them, you know, as we pass through destinations or, you know, going to the folklore show in Lucerne or the Moulin Rouge in Paris. Um, so yeah, I would say it's up there with one of the dream jobs and definitely my dream job. <laughs>